A tradition in NASCAR is the painted logos in the ball field. The focal point is always the sponsor logo for the main event. In this case, it's the NASCAR Spring Cup Series race, the Quaker State 400 presented by Advance Auto Parts. As you can see, we're using GPS equipment, uh, Spectra Trimble technology. And we've been using this uh, four or five years now. Um, we used to do it with measuring tapes and rulers and lots of math. And uh, what would take probably two and a half, three weeks, we can get done in about a week now. The process is a tedious one, as they start with the GPS guided devices to lay out the dimensions before they start to paint. The white base goes on first, followed by black, and then the Quaker State colors of green and gold. Alan Jones, I'm from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been painting grass at racetrack since 1984, and I painted the uh, very first uh, grass painting ever at a uh, racetrack at that time. Um, we'll go over all the logos again, put in a second coat, sometimes three coats, all for the white. Um, before the race to make it look good and uh, and if anybody runs through it, we'll, uh, we'll repaint it again. State logo has over 2,000 points that the painters use as reference points to make their transitions. One other significant point, there's a thousand gallons of paint that will be used during race weekend to make the infield grass logos come alive at Kentucky Speedway. The process is done at every track for every race weekend. And this weekend, it's where the Quaker State 400 presented by Advance Auto Parts. I'm, you know, it really makes me mad when uh, when that happens, and we, we got to come out here and repaint it. And you know, if it's, especially if it's one of these, you know, rookie drivers or something, usually is a rookie driver that you know don't know what they're doing. <laughs>